Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Counter-Strike 2. We're going to start by optimizing Windows and after that we will go inside of the game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a, a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one, causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphics setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have an, an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for an example here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's going to show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have a, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for NVIDIA, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game, it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. So if you have an NVIDIA card, just go on your NVIDIA setting, go to control panel, open it, go to manage 3D setting and just use pretty much the setting that I'm currently using. Honestly, they're pretty much default. So the first one that you need to change is your low latency mode. If you have this technology, make sure that it's at on. The other one is your if you want to lock your FPS. Uh, for an example, you have like a 170 Hertz monitor and you want to stay in your G-Sync ring. Uh, range sorry you just put your uh, FPS here at like something like 167 something like that you want to be under 170 Hertz to always stay in your G-Sync range so if you want to do that it will do that for all your game it's a global setting over there so I'm gonna unlock it and this is pretty much it if you have access to the change ECC state I recommend to uncheck it this will slow your VRAM so you don't want to use that for change resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So you're, if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. And super important, look at your refresh rate. A lot of people <laughs> are missing this step. They buy like a new screen and by default it's at 60. So use the uh, maximum refresh rate that is available on your uh, monitor. The last parameter will be your G-Sync. So I recommend if you want to use G-Sync, I recommend to, first of all, you need to enable it. And I recommend to use the enable for window and full screen. So if you're playing a game like in borderless mode, it will be applied. Also, you can select just one uh, display screen, depending on whatever. If, if your second screen is not compatible with G-Sync, you will just push it to one monitor. Uh, me, I'm not using it. I have a 4090 uh, for my GPU, so I just want to unlock my FPS. So in majority of the game, I'm getting like 250 FPS and um, my monitor refresh rate is at 170 Hertz. So I just want to lower my input lag. So that's why I just unlock everything, but it really depends on your situation. So this is pretty much it for NVIDIA. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, 
really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's going to make sure that it optimizes your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divide it by 2. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically. And you just lower the software like that. And you're going to make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software. And also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2% to 10% boost in your FPS, depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's, it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um for the best performance so now let's go inside of the game so now inside of the game we're gonna start by video and video over there so the first one is your resolution make sure that you're playing native don't downgrade your uh, resolution uh your game will look very blurry so make sure that you're matching your monitor so native resolution if you're playing 1080p go 1080p 1440p go with 1440p so just match your monitor for the display mode, I really recommend to go with full screen. Don't use other modes. Super important. Uh, it's very stable. I had like some random issue with uh, full screen window, uh, some random stuttering. So super important to go with full screen. And also make sure that your refresh rate match your monitor. In my case, I have a 240 hertz monitor. So you should see something like 239 or 240. Uh, super important because by default, it was at 60 for mine. Uh, so super important to change that. If you have a laptop, also you have another uh, feature called laptop power saving that you can just disable. Pretty cool. You're going to make sure that all your components are uh, running in performance mode. After that, go to Advance. Boost player contrast. It doesn't change your um, FPS. I kind of like the boost contrast over there, so I'm just using it for better visibility. Uh, wait for vertical sync. Just disable your vertical sync. You want the less input lag possible. You can use other technology like G-Sync or FreeSync. Uh, if you really don't like that because you have some tiering, those horizontal lines, you can definitely uh, activate your vertical sync, but you're going to add input lag. So normally you don't want that in a game like Counter-Strike. Until easing mode, I'm not a huge fan. You have a couple of chairs over there. I recommend to disable. You're going to get a nice 9% boost in your FPS and also a lot better visibility. Honestly, when you use anti-aliasing in this game, the game looks very blurry, so I'm not a fan. For shadow quality, I recommend to go with low. If you compare very high to low, you can expect a nice... 20% boost, sorry. Uh, I know some people like to plant medium because sometimes it can give you an advantage if you're seeing better uh, better uh, shadow uh, on the floor. So you, you know like an enemy is near or something like that. Me, I like to play at low. I just want pure FPS. For texture detail and texture filtering mode, just follow whatever you put in texture. So for example, if you have 6 gig and more of VRAM, you can definitely go very high and 16. If you have something like 4 gig, go at I and choose 8x and just adapt depending on the bracket that you're going to choose, depending on the amount of VRAM that you have. For shader uh, detail, I recommend to go with low. You can expect a nice 6% boost in your FPS over there. Part particle detail also low if you don't want to have like some random drops when you see explosion, particle and stuff. Really important to go with low. Ambient inclusion, go with disable, a nice 8% um, boost in your FPS over there. The, the game looks very flat without it, but honestly, you just want to see the enemy and you want FPS. So this is the way to go if you want that. HDR, uh, go with performance mode if you have like if you want to use HDR. And the last one is Fidelity FX. Not a fan of that. The game looks very blurry with it, so just disable it. It does. It's not worth to have a little bit more FPS when you're using it. Uh, the visual is pretty trash, honestly, when you're moving fast and stuff. So I recommend to go with disable. 
The last prime reader will be your NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. And if you have an NVIDIA card, this one I really recommend to use that. You're going to have a better input lag again, less input lag. So it's a very cool feature from NVIDIA. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my Counter-Strike 2 guide. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and your RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.